Good day and welcome to our explanation of how to export data from one WordPress site and import it into another without losing anything. So in our case, we have a website that we ran for a few years that's just not working out uh, and it's called electriccaddy.com. That's a fine site, but I quite like it. We spent a lot of time doing it. Yeah, that's one of my Cadillacs that I've had over the years. Um, at any rate, uh, that site is going to be shut down and we're going to move that content into another site that we run called partisanissues.com. So what you have to do is get to uh, your source site and uh, get into the dashboard. Well, get into the WordPress console. So for most people, that's WP admin and then so on and so forth. And then go to tools, export. And you can export all of the content for the sake of speed for this particular presentation. Uh, and fine for testing purposes, I'm gonna to go to posts and I'm only gonna select, uh, let's go to uh, the post relating to Tesla. So we'll click on those. And as you can see, we can do authors, start date, end dates, you know, statuses, so on and so forth. But we're not going to do that here. We're just going to take all of the ones relating to Tesla. So I'll click download export file. And this will export uh, an XML file. And that XML file, XML file, is just a simple uh, text file that uh, contains all of the information that we need to import except graphics. Fortunately, the import process takes care of that. For the sake of being thorough, we'll open that file. Uh, you don't have to, by the way, this is just for demonstration. And you'll see that uh, an XML file is just a self-describing file. Uh, it, um, it's really just plain English uh, with, a, I guess there's a little bit of code, but it's pretty straightforward. You can read through it and you can understand it. Anyway, not important. I just wanted to show it to you that it's really nothing scary. So let's get out of that. So now we go to the destination site, which in this case is partisan issues. Again, we go to the WordPress console, and once this comes up, we go to Tools and Import, which we will do right here, Tools, Import. And it's pretty straightforward with one little exception. There we go. So, we have to choose the importer. It's a WordPress importer, so we're just going to click on that. And it will import, or it will add in the importer for us. It's just an add-in. I'll click Details so you can see it, but really nothing too exciting here. It's direct from WordPress. There we go. So let's select Run Importer. And we'll select Choose File. That's the file there, the XML file that we just downloaded. And I'll click Upload File and Import. Now, here's the key right there, Download and import file attachments. That's really the big thing you want to make sure if you want to pull your media from your source site to your, to your destination. Okay, so let's move past that. Now, who do you want to assign these uh, to be written as? Well, I'm going to have them written as me. Um, actually, I'm going to put these in as Bryn because that is uh, who wrote the, a lot of these. So let's go there and then I'll go back to, well, I'll leave mine as mine. Okay. So the original author of Bryn is going to go to Bryn on the new site, and the original author of Ian Matthews is going to go to Ian Matthews. All right, so let's go. But that's the big thing to do, import, download and import. So let's do it. Click Submit. All done, all right. Now, if I go to Posts, go to All Posts, I should see them. Now, I haven't updated that site, uh, the Caddy site in quite some time. So I believe these are going to be on the second page of my partisan, of our partisan issue site. And there they are. Let's take a look at that. There they are. Now let's go to let's just take a look at the uh, take a look at the post. See my graphics did not come through. They did. Oh yay. And let's see where they're hosted. Okay, those are still hosted on electrocaddy.com. I can see at the bottom here. That's disappointing. I'll have to end up uh, moving those graphics manually. Well, it's still a giant improvement over what I thought would happen, uh, as the electrocaddy site will be up. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to go fix the categories. So as you can see here, the 
categories are not what I would like. These categories uh, don't do not match with what I already have on the partisan issue site. So I want to go change these to something that's more appropriate. So uh, what we use for that is a tool called Bulk Move. So let's take a look at that. We'll go to Plugins. And we'll go to Add New. And we'll go to the search and type in Bulk Move. There it is, we'll do bulk move, install. And activate, of course. And there we go. Now, we'll go to tools and bulk move. And here they are, here are the categories. So I want to set Let's see here. Let's do Electric Cadillac News. Set that to EV Industry News. There we go. And bulk move. It's only one, but that's what we've got. Let's go. Done. Now, I want to go down to move another one. I want to move Tesla. And I want to change that to EV Industry News and bulk move. And let's see what I've got left here. That's about it. So now I can go through and I can click on the Tesla one and I can select remove the category. Bye. And I can go to electric Cadillac news and remove category. And now when I go to my posts, And I get to the ones I just imported, a couple of which are here. You can see I just have EV Industry News, which is happy. So the only thing outstanding are the graphics and uh, doing some research on why the graphics didn't import. Apparently there's a large number of reasons. So uh, for the purpose of this conversation, we're going to leave it. It should work for most people, but apparently it doesn't work <laughs> always. So um, yeah, one of those things. Uh, in my case, uh, I have a small enough site that I will import the graphics separately and we'll be on our way. So if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.